All right, guys. It is Friday the 22nd of April. We're tackling Ambiguity featuring Zephyrus by Mime. This track looks like a grass track, which I'm excited for. I know Mime is generally pretty strong at grass tracks like this. Would make sense that he's able that he would that he would also make grass tracks like this. Which is super exciting for me because it means that I get to play an enjoyable track. Ooh, there's also dirt, that's cool. I wanna do a sick trick. What is this? Oh, is it did I actually like select a record? I have a loan. I don't need I ain't need no ghost. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay. <laughs> Good job. I'll just crash. Okay, I gotta take that a different way, otherwise I'm gonna do exactly that. probably do that with like a a no slide. I just have to actually get it. This downhill turn's very punishing if you don't get it early. Okay, let's redo this. Reset my brain here. Goodness, okay. Maybe I do do the sick trick and uh, look at the GPS. I touched the checkpoint and it doesn't even look like I got slowed down for it. Oh, is that a nice turn? No, it's not. That is, though, and there's an automatic camera change. We live in a great society. Mime or Zephyrus, whichever one of you did this. Thank you. You understand that. Automatically changing to Cam 1 is risky. But on ice, it's probably not that risky. I don't understand yet how to do that wiggle without, like, absolutely launching the back of my car up into the stratosphere. Like this. Okay. Camera change was cool, but I absolutely messed up the ice slide. Here we go. Okay, let's just... Get through the section. Enter my perf enter the section I'm most excited for, the grass section. Barely making that grass turn. I really like the aesthetic. Oh, I can't go through that. Especially with the terrible line I have. All right, here we go. The mixed style track. The track thumbnail is just the grass section. But I'm not going to complain about a mixed style track. I am completely fine with that. Okay, I need to be like more, I need to have a different approach to that turn. I 
Also, the reason I crashed the ice slide is because I didn't know where the ice started. If I, now that I know where the ice starts, I'm not gonna make the same mistake. Okay, see where the ice starts. And even though I saw where the ice starts, I was not ready. management on this grass. To go through the poles. Oh, plastic. Oh boy. All the all of the freaking surfaces. Oh. And then this is the risky finish. Okay. Alrighty. We finally have an we finally have a time. It took me six minutes. Let's see where I am. Let's see if I'm on track to get that 15 minute good run. Track has a lot of tricky sections. So we'll see, but should be able to. Don't, don't be too late on that corner because you need to be able to actually make it around. This dirt section is very tricky, I will say. The grass section isn't that bad. The plastic section I haven't gotten a good attempt at because I kind of messed it up. And the ice section's a little tricky, but like this dirt currently I feel is the most tricky. Thankfully it's the first section. So the fact that it's tricky is not that bad. Because I don't get 75% into a run and then have to... deal with a very tricky section. That gotta be careful of that bounce. God. Landed sideways. I feel like I have to slow down quite a lot for the ice drift, the first one, but it's actually not too bad. Was overextended. I'm gonna be coming out of the ice drift really soon on that one. Which means I can't break, I can't over break, otherwise, I don't make it. That was scuffed, but uh, now I'm ah. Uh, had a bad approach. Okay. 
like the floating islands change to the ground if it's really cool. I want to get that chain model on my own tracks. It could be really cool to have a useful asset for several things. Too close to the inside. I gotta be careful with that. Small let up to make sure I actually make it. section. Gotta be careful with gears. Hard turn. I had a bad gear. Fine, I'm just going to the finish. Alright, so I'm still not doing that end correctly, but we're doing better. 59, I almost got a gold. Oh yeah, 12 minutes. Yeah, we're, if we're at 12 minutes, then that means soon I should be getting a good run. It's just how it be. Oh, and I've clipped. Like that ice turn. The grass section is really tight though, because I can hear myself. I gotta get this plastic section better. Why do I do that every time? not even that hard to avoid. Of course not the other metal, but you know. Maybe let's get a run where I don't crash into that corner. Just because I'm at such a low speed. It's really slow. Really low speed plastic in that section. tapped it unfortunately I actually think it's pretty intended to slow down very aggressively on that first ice drift you have a lot of excess speed though I should watch the GPS at some point just to make sure of my suspicions Too close to the inside, I'm just bouncing. Oh, I was holding my direction buttons in the wrong way. really close to the insides. Came out of that very nice. 
I really like this section where you try not to get air. Very creative. I'm a big fan of sections where you're just trying to fight with not flying off the track. Maybe you do a... <laughs> it's probably not possible. It's probably not the optimal strategy. Like maybe you just do a bug slide there. Okay, you can't be too far on the inside there, otherwise you just clip like that. I suspected that, but I wanted to make sure. Oh, clip to the inside. Oh, that small clip slowed me down. Unfortunate. probably yeah that's why I don't want to be wide because then I'll I'm very likely to hit that kink there I just accidentally did a 360 because I my brain forgot which direction to push. section. Be careful with this gear here. I either go up or I don't. And then I have to be super careful about the gear that comes right after it because it's tricky. It's a bit wide. I want to be wide there because you lose speed. Let me watch the GPS before this video ends so I actually do the right thing. Oh, I can't turn around. I have no idea. I can't tell if he's lighting up. I couldn't hear. Okay, yeah, there's a heavy break there like I expected. gets that gear really early. In this section. I'm pretty sure I understand it. Just don't clip. <laughs> you do get very close to clipping. At least in the route that was shown. Which is to be expected. It seemed like you'd be very close to clipping. But... I just need to not clip. Okay. Putting what I learned to good use. Be a little slow, but uh, not terrible in the grand scheme of things. I'm on the edge of losing that gear. I'm slammed into the finish. My goodness. At least it's an improvement. Actually, quite a good run. 
little late on that one. It's a 20 minute run. Funny how I launched the GPS and then just like absorbed it in its entirety and come, came up with like a one second improvement just out of nowhere. Even though I was doing the, the route pretty much as intended, there were some small things that my brain latched onto that I kept and was able to use to figure out what to do. You don't want to jump off of the track there. Bad. You don't want to run into that sign or that flag either. Also bad. Okay, too much braking. I want to brake enough to be on the inside of that corner, but I don't want to brake that much that I just basically turn around with how hard I brake. Get these small hints of grip in the middle of the dirt section. Had a much better second drift on the ice. This entrance into the grass was not good. I had a bad gear. But this turn was better. It wasn't a terrible gear. It was an oak. It was it was just not good. Don't lose the gear. I lost the gear. Dang it. Even without running into the finish, I still lose because I lost the gear. I'm like right at the edge of shifting down in that section, and I have to basically do as much as I can to not lose that gear. I have actually quite a lot of experience with this because the track that I'm working on has a section where you're just like fighting to not lose a gear. I actually really enjoy it. Like, you stay in the highest gear for pretty much the entirety. The like gears are not a problem in the track. Um, except for this one, like, uphill turn where you lose the gear. You go down the gear, which it's, it, it actually is... It, it, it doesn't slow you down in any way. Um, you go down the gear... Uh, and then you crest over a hill and start going downhill, and you try your hardest not to get that gear back in that moment. Because if you do, you're going to go real slow. Because actually, if you don't get that gear, you actually stay out of it. I, I've made it so that you don't go back into it until you are on a track piece like three seconds later in the track. I didn't want to turn too much, but I kind of am forced to wait for that gear. Actually, the funny thing about that, that like, that moment in my track that I was talking about where you have to kind of not gear up again. Um... If you, if you're able to manage that, I was actually experimenting. I had to put some penalty grass on the track to slow the player down just slightly so that they don't gear up in a bad spot. There was a chance that they could gear up in a really bad spot if they like did the line pretty well. And I didn't want to have that happen, so I purposely put some penalty grass just to kind of slow the player down a little bit and make sure that they don't gear up in a bad spot. 
Uh, don't get air, that's bad. Because now I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up that finish crash, even if I wanted to. Even if I did this section well. Dude, I, every time. Uh, that corner is very dangerous. Breaks too much. And my approach on that was bad. <laughs> Darn, darn. I'm okay with flipping that triangle, that triangle specifically, because I've done it where I've not actually slowed down. But if I clip it and I don't slow down, I'm not too worried about it. It's a fine line of flipping it and not slowing down. This is not a good ice section. Let me put that out there. I got air. At least I managed the gear. Always gotta manage the gear just to keep that muscle memory in inside of me there. Okay, it's this plastic section. I lost the gear. And that's why it's bad to lose that gear. Crash. Nope, don't do that. Good. I feel like I was on the, on the edge of gearing up there. Mm, lost a bit of time because I was too close to the inside. I'm really far outside on this turn. Get out of the ice slide! But then I, yeah, I did get a slowdown from that, but not too much, and I was willing to continue the run, but unfortunately the way that I got launched meant that I didn't have as much speed as I'm used to, and then I clipped the inside the corner of one of these dirt sections, and that's really dangerous. Those little sharp 90 degree corner dirt mound things, these... Dangerous. Super dangerous. But, looking like it's going to be the end of the episode for today, so I will see you all on Sunday. We will attack whatever track happens to be the tracks of the day for the weekend. Until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you all later.